I S U P K. They don't care about you. They don't, they don't care that you struggle and strive and you gotta be on EBT in Section 8. America doesn't give a damn. In fact, they prefer it that way. And the sooner that you come to that conclusion, the sooner you can come together with your brothers and sisters and start building your own. Because if you're relying on America to change, if you are relying on America to get you know that piece of American pie, you can forget about that dream. It's never going to happen. There'll never be a time where blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to be equal to this oppressor. That's right. Why would an oppressor who's ruling over you has slaves, pays you minimum wage, why would he ever change the rules to make you equal? That's right. He wouldn't because he's wicked and evil. And this is this the other reason why you shouldn't put a lot of faith in America. Now, I'm going to hand it back to the brother because he dropped something so heavy for y'all to digest and try to take in. You need to put this in your spirit. It's a tough reality. It's a tough pill to swallow. But there'll be a time, if you believe in the Bible at all, there'll be a time when America won't even be here. The Lord, and if, and if you're worthy, the Lord is going to take you with him into a new land. This is what's going to happen to America. Read. He said, uh, come on. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall be no more be said, Oh, it shall be no more said the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt this is the prophet Jeremiah he's talking about the time when the Lord took you Negroes you blacks Hispanics and Native Americans because you are the real Israelites right. there was a time that you were in Egypt ain't no white man been in Egypt you can forget about that he can't survive Florida. How he gonna survive Egypt? Right. He dying from skin cancer. You think he gonna be? That's Ain't no right. white people in the Middle East originally. None. Zero. Zilch. They all come from the Caucasus Mountain. None of them have ever originated from the Middle East. Science proves it. But we've been force fed lies over here so we don't know no better. But the prophet Jeremiah is talking about the time where you niggas was in Egypt and served under a different oppressor. Served under those Africans. Read. Okay. All right, verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. So the Lord is known for his great and mighty works of what he did in Egypt. He sent 10 plagues. He had Moses do all these wonderful miracles. And guess what? The Lord was world renowned because of that. When Israel left Egypt and went into the other lands to conquer them and take them and establish Israel, the heathens knew about us. And guess what? All the heathens knew that not to mess with them. They said, if, if they keeping their laws, don't mess with them because the, their God is with them. Well, you know the Lord by that story. But the Bible says it's going to be a time. Take me again from verse 15. Okay. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. You're going to remember, you're going to forget about what the Lord did in Egypt. You're going to remember what the, Bible, what the Lord did to take the children of Israel out of the land of the north. Let me get some volume on that out of the land of the north. What's the land of the north that's being prophesied in the Bible? The land of the north is talking about North America. This ain't the only precept in the Bible that's talking about a future place that would be wicked and evil and we would be in captivity. I know a lot of y'all don't believe the Bible because it's been taught to you by your Christian pastor. But the Bible prophesied America and how wicked and evil it would be and how it would have the children of Israel in slavery. Right. You don't believe me? 
Anybody need proof? I'll give it to you. And then I'm giving it right back, I swear. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Let me get that real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. See, black people don't even know that the transatlantic slave trade is prophesied in the Bible. Moses talked to the children of Israel in the wilderness thousands of years ago. And he said, you know what? If you keep the laws of the Bible, you're going to be the great. You're going to be great. You're going to be the head and not the tail. You're going to lend and not borrow. Your brothers, y'all going to love one another. Your wives are going to obey. Your children are going to grow up to be honorable. But he said, if you disobey, you're going to be the tail and not the head. You're going to borrow and not lend. You're going to murder one another down in the street. That's all in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, you to read it. And here's the one right here that blew, that blew me away when I was learning about the truth. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh, like it. With shit. Start it. You got to read this strong and slower. We slow it down, brother. I want everybody to get this and understand. This is the transatlantic slave trade. Whoa. And I dare anybody to try to prove me wrong. Read. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into again uh, into Egypt again with ships. The Bible says that the Lord is going to bring you into Egypt again with ships. Now answer this question. If the Israelites had just left Egypt and they walked, why would they need ships to get back to Egypt? They wouldn't. Because Egypt in the Bible is synonymous with bondage. It's referred to as the house of bondage. The Lord is saying he's going to send you children of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, back into slavery again. But this time, you're going on ships. Read. Come, come. By the way thereof, I mean, by the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Hold on, brother. You got to slow down. Read it again slow. Read that part again. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold. And there, once you once you a slave, and you go on slave ships, just like you did on the transatlantic slave trade, once you get off that voyage that took sometimes a year, right, you, you've been laying in your brother's feces and your sister's menstrual cycle, and you s stuck in together like sardines, and then when you were sick, you was thrown overboard, so much so that there was a path that sharks followed for years. They followed the same path that the slave trade. That route that they took from Europe over to America, sharks followed that path. You can go and Google that. That's All right. the bodies that was thrown overboard, sharks would just follow that path because they knew that they would eat. That's right. you, can, you can research that. That's facts. And you was, in the, you was in the bottom of those ships like sardines. Right. Not enough room to even turn on your side. So when you had to piss, you pissed. When you had to defecate, you defecate. If you were sick, coughing, and throwing up, everybody was sick, coughing, and throwing up. And then when and the Bible says, when you got there, you was going to be sold. Go ahead. Come, come. Sold unto your enemies. For Hold on. Sold to who? Unto your enemy. To your friend. Your enemy. Somebody you can come together with. Your enemy. Somebody you eventually get a piece of the pie with. Your enemies. Go ahead. For bondmen. For bondmen. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall redeem you. That's what happened to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you don't know, study your history. Hispanics went on to those slave ships too. Right. Native Americans went on to those slave ships too. We was just we was just uh, the second to come over here and the largest, but they were the first to go on. That's the transatlantic slave trade. Now Show me anybody else in history that ever went on to slave ships and were sold. Nobody else. So what the brother was talking about was super heavy, man. Y'all stop putting y'all faith in America. Y'all better put y'all faith in the Lord. If you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you are the Israelites from the Bible. You're not African. You're not Egyptian. You're not a Moor. You're none of